Hey guys, welcome to Sim Airport. And if you're like me and you like a, a good tycoon game, I think you're gonna love this game. Um, I have been playing this like all day ever since I got the code. Finally got in touch with the developers, a guy called Arthur, and uh, he sent me a copy uh, last night. I got it like four o'clock in the morning. So first thing this morning, I like loaded it up, and I've just been playing it all day, and it's freaking sweet. Yes, it's very very early uh, early access. Uh, it's only been the game's only been out like it's only been in early access for a few weeks. It's just totally addicting. Right, let's get this. Let's get this airport working. This air, this um, this first episode is all going to be about like getting a working airport, and I'm going to really try hard not to pause the game. Um, yeah, I'm going to really, really try hard not to pause the game. Okay, if you've played Prison Architect, this will be completely familiar because it's like uh, I'm assuming it's a, it's the same engine because it's identical to uh, Prison Architect and. I've got to say, the, the running an, uh, an airport management simulation, this is perfect for that. Like, I think it's even better than a prison management simulation. It's just perfect. So, <clears throat> I'm going to try as much as possible to really mimic a real-life air, uh, airport. So, first thing, arrivals and departures. Arrivals and departures are, are kept very separate. So, we're going to do that. Uh, zones, first of all. I am going to get rid of these zones which are down here because they're um, they're kind of useless. So garbage, drop-offs and pickups. So drop-offs, those are arrivals. So we're going to have drop-offs coming in, I don't know, uh, yeah, like up there. Down to about halfway down our main building here. And then we're going to have pickups, which is departures, happening from there down to about there. And then we're going to have the garbage. Where's the garbage? G garbage. Yeah. I, I tell you, what, one thing like immediately that's better than Prison Architect is the fact that everything's sorted alphabetically. My God, that makes a difference. Right. <clears throat> so we um, we arrive at the airport. What do we do? We go into the main building, and there'll be like there'll be uh, one entrance, which is like or m several entrances, but one side of the building will be arrivals, and then the other side, or often another floor, like downstairs at some airports, is is um, is departures. So this is going to be our arrivals. So um, people walk in here and the first thing they're going to want to do is get a ticket. So let's do ticketing. Okay, we want uh, objects, ticket desk. So T down here, ticketing desk. Uh, I'm going to put two more ticketing desks in. And now there's also a ticketing kiosk. So people with luggage uh, will come over here and they'll check their bags in. And that's going to go off into an automated baggage handling system, which is really cool. And we'll be playing around with that in a bit. Um, I'm just wondering where I put the automated ticketing kiosk. Because I think I know, actually. Yeah, uh, yeah, that would work. Right, right okay. Now, queues. Airports. Going to an airport is all about the queues. First of all, you have a great big long queue to get your ticket. Right, and check your bags in. And then you go down to passport control. Well, there's this passport control, they call it ID check. Uh, and you have a nice big long queue for that. And then you have a great big long queue to get through uh, security. And then you have a nice big long queue while you, like when you're boarding. So it's all about huge long queues. And we're gonna make the most of that. So we're gonna have our, um, our queue for ticketing starting. And it's this is very simple, I kind of like the way this works. Um, well, we'll have the, the queue there and then it's going to come down here i think probably to there is long enough and then it'll go back up here uh i'm just wondering whether i leave a gap at that end i think i'm going to leave a gap at that end and then um, oh, oh no 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 shrink the queue yeah go back there then i'm going to leave a gap in the middle there oh no i didn't want to do that uh, shrink that queue thank you expand this one there we go i'm gonna leave a gap in the middle and then have that come down there Oh, and here are my workmen who've come from the uh, from the deliveries where they'll have just have had some, some stuff delivered so they can start putting in these extra desks. And there they go. Screwdrivers waving away. They can build anything in this game with a screwdriver. They're, they're very, very clever people. Seriously, they could build an entire runway with a screwdriver. They could build air traffic control towers. You name it. Give them a screwdriver. They'll build you freaking anything. Right. <clears throat> Why have I left a gap in the middle here? Well, because... Um, if we, if we look at reports, there are various um, heat maps, like the info heat map, right? Now, I've got to say, personally, I think this is the wrong way round. Um, green means bad and red means good, okay? So right now, there's no sources of information in the airport. 
we want to change that. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I, I want to show you this first. So let's go to objects and let's put in, let's see, I want um, information, I. I information, information, where's the limit information thing? I can't find it now. I can't find it. Where is it? Oh, wait, wait. Uh, yeah, flight, flight information display. Uh, I'm going to put a flight information display here so people in, that are in the queue can see the, what's going on with the flights. I think that would be a good idea, don't you? Yeah, we'll put one at that end and we'll put one at that end. And let's let them, let's let them build that. I'll speed it up while they build that so that we can see what happens to, uh, to our information heat map. So the stuff's got to be delivered... So we're waiting for, oh, here we, uh, no, that's a, that's, oh, yes, that's a supply truck. So the stuff's been delivered, and then our workman will bring it up here. Can I, can I, oh, can I click on it? Oh, follow. That's much easier. So they're going to come up here and put that in. And when they do, apparently the display doesn't update. So I've got to go out and go, now there we go. And now this area has got good information. Hooray! And that'll make our people happy. And we'll... Um, unfortunately, we can't see until... Let's pause the game for a second. Uh, we can't see until um, we actually get some passengers what their satisfaction levels are. But I want to get this up in like the 90% satisfaction plus. So we'll see about that. Now, it's the same thing for the environment. So uh, let's see. What do I want? Cues. Uh, not cues. Uh, objects. Now, we've got a couple of decorative bushes which can be used indoors. It says at the, at the bottom down here. Uh, indoors. These are two are indoors, and there's also a great big plastic bin. It's like four squares wide, um, and and these make the place look nice. All the rest are for outdoors only, but that one and these two can be used indoors. So I think we'll um, we'll try and make the place look a bit nice. So let's have um, so a couple of these. Now I've got to be careful with placement because if you cancel, you don't get the money back at the moment. I'm sure later on it you will, but like right now you don't. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to just fill this with um, with uh, with these these bushes, but we'll kind of see. I'm going to leave it like that for now. So they walk in. Uh, they've got that. That's excellent. Uh, I'm kind of thinking that it would be kind of nice to have maybe even another flight info display, like right when they walk in the doors. Yeah, maybe, maybe turn that around. Maybe have one there so that like, you walk in the door and all the flight information is right in front of them. Is that a good idea? Yeah, let's do that. What the hell? So let's put that in there. Right, take it off pause. <clears throat> Not gonna have to pause on it anymore. And uh, we'll run it on one time speed. So they walk in. And now, if they've got bags, they need to check their bags in here. But there's also um, ticketless, uh, sorry, um, uh, bagless, electronic ticket um, kiosks. Now, where am I going to have these? And I think we should have these, um, like, along here. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So I'm going to have uh, one, two, three, four of those along there. Right. And we want the place to look nice. So let's have... What do I want? What do I want? What do I, want? I want a decorative bush. Now, I want, the, I want the flowers. I'm going to have a decorative bush, I think, in front of that. Let's rotate it that way, I think. Yeah, so we'll have some we'll have some decorative bushes there. Flip that around. Maybe a decorative bush there. Yeah, I think a decorative bush there. Now, uh, you've come to, like, buy your ticket or whatever. Oh, I haven't got any money. Well, you're going to need an ATM then. So let's get an ATM put in. So let's have, um, let's have an ATM there. And once you've got some money out, let's give you something to spend it on, shall we? <laughs> um, before we do that, though, before we do that... Um, I've got some big work that I want to do. Now, first things first, this. This is a, a regular size airplane gate, right? But there's also a large air, airplane, an XL, right? Um, now, it, it'll only go, there's like these kind of like big squares and, and, and placement is kind of a little bit weird. Um, so what I'd really like to do is, is replace this small gate with one of these larger gates. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to dismantle um, this. And um, I'm going to have to get rid of this uh, this taxiway here. So build, demolish, demolish that taxiway. And I'm going to have to knock down this wall because this wall's in the way. So we're going to knock down that wall there. Right. That's quite a lot for them to get on with. So we'll crank it up to times two. Now, 
whilst they're doing that, um, I'm going to get rid of that sliding door, I think. Yeah, dismantle that one, and we're going to put in a new one. Now, I, I would kind of like to make the baggage claim a little bit bigger. I, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be spending, like, pff, way too much cash, but I'm going all OCD on this for some reason. Um, but I kind of love it, so... So I'm going to do it. What am I going to do? I'm going to go to build and I'm going to go to foundations and I'm going to extend this like a couple. Like that. Now, I may have to get rid of these fences. Yeah. Okay, I think I've got to... For some reason... Yeah, well, let's, let's, let's do that again. Let's take out the fences first. So, first of all, let's demolish those two bits of fence and then we'll extend it. Um, okay, over here. What am I going to do over here? I'm going to put in a couple of offices. Now, this is something that if you didn't know, and there is no tutorial yet for this game, so it's kind of you've either got to watch videos or you've got to play, actually play the game and just trial and error. But you'll find out that you can't take a bank loan um, until you've unlocked certain research, right? So you need to get that research going pretty quickly because if you run out of cash, you're kind of screwed. So we're going to do that. We're going to put in uh, a couple of offices and um, where am I going to so zones offices. I'm going to put in a couple of like three by four offices here. Now I'm actually going to put it like one further down because I want to put some stuff there. I think so. Office. I will leave um, a gap for a wall. So two, three, four. Let's put let's put like yeah three by four is fine. And one, two, four three by four office there now the reason I'm putting in two offices is for the two people that you need which are um, a CFO and a COO so a chief financial officer and a chief a chief operations officer so there's some um, we need to put a desk and a chair and they need to be enclosed and stuff so let's get on with that now right they've taken out this large sliding door they won't actually reuse that so I'm gonna sell that and get a new one I don't why they won't reuse that I don't know I don't know some stuff they reuse, some stuff they just kind of ignore. So let's, um, it's R to rotate, let's flip you around. We'll pop that in, am I gonna pop that in there or am I gonna do the foundations first? I'm gonna extend the foundations first and I think we'll have the door like pretty much on the end. Yeah, yeah, I think that would work better. Let's go build and foundations and we'll extend that like that. Go back to one time speed because <clears throat> time is rolling on and it is costing us money employing us that we've got to pay our staff and stuff like that so right uh i want walls 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 um so i want a wall down there i want a wall around there i think i'm going to want a wall there because i'm going to put the door in the middle yeah i'm going to want a wall in there uh doors where am i going to have my doors doors are objects here's a door flip that around I, you know i think i'm going to have um i think i'm going to have the door at that end of the office, yeah. You have a door there, door there. And so, walls. I'm gonna want walls up there, and across there, and there, and across there, like that. Alrighty, looking, looking pretty good. I, you know, I might actually make security a little bit wider. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I am gonna spend, <laughs> I am gonna overspend, I know it. I just know that I'm going to overspend. So let's get uh, let's let them get these offices built. So I'm going to crank it up to five times speed. Come on, guys, you've got a lot to do. Right, let's um, let's slow it down to two times speed. So let's see, where are we? Uh, we want baggage claim. Baggage claim. We'll extend baggage claim like that. Right, offices. Objects. We want some office furniture in here, which surprisingly enough is called office furniture, office chair, and office desk. We will put a desk in there. We will put a desk in there. I'm going to put an office chair. Flip you around. Rotate. Uh, should I put it there or there? Like, I think it... I wish you could put it in the middle. <laughs> but you can't. So, I don't know. Um, it's got to go there, hasn't it, really? It looks silly there. So, all right, we'll put it there. And we'll put that there. Cool. Right, and the offices are now functional. So, we can now... Uh, nope, that's not what I want. I want to recruit a CFO, uh, but before I do that, I have to research finance. Um, so it, uh, it costs 6,000 and it takes 10 hours. Right, so that is now researching. Hooray, 
Now, all I need to do is not overspend before I've completed that research. So, the same kind of flooring in. Let's have a look again. Eh. Oh, is it? Th oh, it's that, isn't it? It is. It's type. It's type one, isn't it? Yeah, it is type one. Can I overwrite this? Yeah, it is that. Right. Let's overwrite this. No, apparently I can't overwrite. Oh, yeah, I can. I just can't overwrite that one apparently. Uh, how much is it? It's like fifty a square, so it's not. It's not terrifically expensive. It's, it, it is expensive, but it's not horrifically expensive. Okay, um, I've got some more foundations that I need to put in. I am going to extend the foundation. Now, this is going to be expensive. This is going to cost quite a lot of money. I am going to extend this out. One, two, three. Uh, am I going to extend it that far? I think I'm going to run it to there for now. Yeah, I'm just going to run it up to there for now because it's so expensive. We'll, we'll extend it further later. Right, security. I'm going to get rid of that med metal detector because it's just frankly in my way. Dismantle. So that's going to be got rid of. Uh, what are we going to put in? We are going to put in... Uh, ticketing is basically done. So they'll come in here, they'll get a ticket, and I, I'm going to do a, like a lounge area in here where they can uh, like relax before before they go through um, security if they want to. Uh, we've already got restrooms, one for the unsecure area and one for the secure area, so we don't have to worry about that. So it's just a case of getting, uh, getting this done. So we've got four ticket desks, we've got four ticketing kiosks, so I'd like to have the ability to like get four passengers at, at a time through security. So that's what we're going to aim to do. So let's get some of this stuff in. Bag scanners. And I've, I'm kind of yakking because I want them to move this blooming wall so I can get the damn bag scanners in. And they need to remove that. Okay, well, we can put one bag scanner in. Uh, we need an ID check desk. <clears throat> what we call passport control. So we want uh, one, two. Now, am I going to put one there? And I think I'm going to leave a gap there, and I'm going to put that there and that there. Now that wall apparently is not being knocked down, so let's clear that. We don't want that wall there. Clear that, please. Thank you. Oh, there's so much work for them to do. I should probably hire another workman. It would probably make sense to hire another workman. But, I don't know. Should I hire... Oh, go on, I'll hire one more workman. There you go. Got a workwoman. Or, or a long-haired transvestite. I, either is possible. Who the hell knows? And to be honest, who cares? It's their own business. It's nothing to do with us. Shut up, Sky. Leave him alone. He's not hurting anyway. Right. Um, let's put in... <laughs> I'm going to get comments about that. Uh, even though I was trying to be nice, I'll still get comments about it. Right, so we'll put um, two more bag scanners in. Boom, boom. Uh, now, obviously, queuing. Queuing is the whole reason that people go to airports. It's because they love queuing. So we need um, we need a nice big queue in here. Um, right, walls. Walls. Going back to what I was originally saying about keeping arrivals and departures separate, I am going to put a great big wall down here. Now, I'm just wondering. Uh, one, two, three, four. I'm just wondering if I can afford to put the wall there and leave a bit of a gap. Uh, yeah, I think I can. So let's have a wall that goes down there like that, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, to there. Yeah, that's cool. And then down here, we're gonna have a security exit. So, bu -bu 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 security exit, here's our security exit. And we're just gonna pop in, yeah, three is three wide enough. I think three wide's enough. One, two, three. Okay, now once they get that completed and this completed, and we extend the security zone. Where are we, security? Let's extend you down to there. Um, then this will become, or everything in here will become a, a secure part of the uh, part of the airport. So, look. so currently, the only thing that's secure is this, but it's because we haven't got this, this wall and these security things done. As soon as that's done, all of, all of the airport should be sealed off and, um, and this um, the gates should be um, should be sealed off. We just need them to finish that one. Come on, come on, one more to do. And and I've got to update the. Nope. What's missing then? <laughs> What's missing? Something's missing. 
Oh, I, I am sealed. Uh, well, I, yeah, I need, do need to seal this, but... Uh, that should actually be secure. Oh, no, because uh, I to put that wall in. <laughs> That's why. There's a great big gaping hole in our security. Yes, I think the terrorists might have spotted that one. Right, let's put a wall down there. That's better. Right, we could put the new gate in. So let's do that. So Now, this is, um, this is a little bit expensive. 11,500 for a new gate. So let's put the gate in there. Uh, now, ah, this is another thing. If you didn't know, there's nothing to tell you where the exit is. The exit is actually up this, this corner. It's that kind of white square. So we actually need to flip this around and have that down there. Right, that's what we want. Cha-ching. Right, now, this requires you to have um, three pieces of taxiway in front of it. So we'll do a bit of taxiway work. Let's get taxiway there and there and there. Cool. Oh, they're churning this out. They're churning this out. Good job. Right, now they've put that wall in. Now we should be secure. Let's have a look. Uh, reports and secure areas. Yes. So, they. this is unsecure. That's fine. This is unsecure. This is unsecure. There's the security exit. And then this is all secure. Excellent. That's what we wanted. Okay. Now, here is the, um, here's the plate, place where they get out. This is the, the actual... What do they call? What do they call this? Is this a skyway? But this is the bit that swings round and attaches to the aircraft, and then people walk through here so that they don't, they don't have to go outside. Uh, we'll get rid of that sliding door, dismantle. We'll put in a new one. Uh, object L, large sliding door. That goes in there. Excellent. Uh, that we will sell, and we'll build a wall across there. Right, this um, this this uh, gate agent desk. So this is where you, this is the, the I don't know. It's where you board the plane, where they check your check your boarding pass before you get on. Um, we'll get rid of that and we'll put another one in. I'm going to I'm going to be really OCD about where everything's placed and stuff. Uh, what do I want? Gate agent's desk. The gate agent's desk. I'm going to put there. Boom. Alrighty. Cool. Now. Uh, Obviously, we've got um, we've got big queue here. We need a big queue down here, don't we? So I need to extend that. So uh, where's clear uh, zone? Yeah, let's change this to so baggage claim in that area. Now, have I left myself enough? Room? If I have that wall coming across there, have I left myself enough room for my baggage carousels? And the answer is no. Okay, no problem. What we'll do then is we'll have a wall um, which comes up. Well, I, actually, I can do it like that. Yeah, I can do it like that. Now, the thing is, what the hell am I going to have in here? I, I have no idea. Yeah, I'm just going to do it like that then. And add it on pause again. Why was I pausing it? I don't know. <laughs> because that's what I do. Okay, so we can extend baggage claim up one. So where's my baggage claim? So we can extend that up one like that. So that means we can have baggage carousels. Like we can probably fit three in across there, which would be nice. We need uh, an exit. We need an exit. Uh, where are we? Large sliding door. L. Large sliding door. Flip you around. Bosh. And yeah, that'll do fine there. Cha-ching. Okay, baggage carousel. Do, 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 B, 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 baggage carousel. Here we go, baggage carousel. So we can get one there, and then one there, and then one there. Oh, yeah, we can get three in, I think. Excellent. All right, we'll start off with one at that end. Okay, so how does baggage work? Well, if we go to utilities, we've got these um, these conveyor belts that um, route, and they're underground. An underground baggage conveyor line that, con that connects to ticketing desks, routing stations, or routing stations, if you're, uh, if you're from the States, uh, and carousels. So first thing we need to do is put in our baggage routing or routing station. Now these have to be next to, or adjacent to, a roadway or a taxiway. So if you, if you it'll, as long as you're next to a taxiway, it'll work. But I've did, uh, like if you put it next to this, it won't work. Right, but I found if you put it just like on the corner there, so it's just touching the, the corner, it'll go in. And that actually kind of works quite, quite well. So we'll pop that in there. The other thing that we need, and this is, this is the thing that I forget in every game that I've played so far. Um, 
we need connection to the ticketing desks, we need connection to the baggage carousels, and we need a functional hanger with a baggage car. And it's the baggage car that I always forget to put in. So we're going to get a hanger, which is um, there's medium and large, so M, medium hanger. We'll put a medium hanger, and again, this has got to be next to a, a, a taxiway. So we'll flip you around that way and put you there. That will work just fine. Right, now the fun bit. <laughs> conveyor belts. Don't we all love a bit of conveyor belt action? Right, we, now, if you've ever been to an airport, and this is the thing about, I'm, try, I'm trying to keep it realistic. A lot of places, like you put your bags on here and they weigh your bags, and then there's a little bit of conveyor belt here, and then it goes like through a hole or something, and then it kind of disappears, and then there's the whole conveyor belt system behind the wall. Um, we, that's, what, that's exactly what we're gonna do. So we're gonna run this through the wall, through the wall, through the wall, through the wall. Now, obviously, this is underground, so it kind of doesn't matter. But we've got room for a couple more desks if we wanted to extend this. Um, or we could, oh, I might do a first class thing, because you can do, like, um, you can separate, like, coach and first class and whatever, which is very, very cool. Right, so we want this. Now, I've just got to be careful about the cash. Um, I've got to do research. Finance is completed. So now I can hire a CFO. Right, so let's hire the CFO. And what do I want? And CFO, right, you're, you're hired. There's the CFO's office, excellent. Now, now that I've hired them, research, bank loans. Takes 18 hours and I need 6,000. See, see, I was almost out of cash. Bank loans, research it, go. Right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna crank it up now because really, <laughs> until I get that done, there's not that much I can do. So let's see. Um, I've got my desk set up. I do, okay, we, we can do a bit over here because this doesn't cost anything. So, yeah, queues, more queues. It's all about the queuing. I want a queue that starts there, right? Because when you go up to these ticketing desks, there's usually like a little electronic boarding pass scanner and you kind of just feed your boarding pass in and then just like, and just like walk past the desk. It's not like you walk up to the front of the desk. You kind of walk past the side of it. So I'm trying to mimic that. I'm trying to keep it realistic. And then, well, that's not what I wanted. Shrink the queue. I do like the way the queues work. I do, I do like this expand and shrink thing. Um, now, because we're gonna have another gate along here next to this one, uh, and but we can use the space kind of up to the door of the next one. Really. So I'm gonna do it like that. Now, this, um, this ticketing desk here has to be assigned to a gate. So we'll assign, whoops, assign it to this gate. And we need to assign it to a queue as well. So we'll assign that to this queue. And you can see the little red lines pointing to the gate and pointing to the queue. Excellent. Uh, did I set these up? I don't think I did, did I? Ah, here we go. Assign to this queue. And this one needs to be assigned to this queue. And this one. And this one. Now you could have separate queues if you wanted to, or you can have one big queue and then people just go to the first available desk, which I think is, is probably gonna work better. Okay, um, let's pause for a second. Uh, have we done the research yet? Oh, we're at 81%, let's not pause. We're almost done. Now, as soon as I can get bank loans, we can kind of get going with this. Uh, I've put that in. I also want a queue over here to get up to these. Now, one thing, if you've ever been through like passport control, especially like in the States, and I used to like go through passports uh, control in the States like, like pretty frequently. Um, they they really don't like you stepping across the, the white line here. It's like, I actually had a security guard, uh, a passport control guy shout at me for not, for stepping over the line. Cause I was, I had my toes like over the line and he was like, sir, step back over the line. I was like, I'm like two millimeters over the line. He's like, step back over the line. Yeah, this is the way they are. It's the way they are. And, and for, let's face it, it's, it's their bat and their ball, so they can be like that if they want to. Um, we want to put a bit of carpeting in here, don't we? Yeah. So let's um, let's carpet that and that. How much is this costing? Yeah. I might save my money on that bit. I'll do that bit later when, when hopefully we're making loads of cash. Right, queues. More queues. We'll have a queue that comes up to here. Don't step over the white line. So just up to there. We'll run it down here. Uh, is there any reason, is there any reason to leave a gap there? I think I might kind of just in case. Yeah, 
I'll leave a gap there. And then we'll go back up here, back down here, back up here, back over here. Now I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna have the entrance here rather than over here, and there is a reason for that. When people walk across here, they'll kind of naturally go to the place where they're supposed to go to. Um, if the queue entrance is over here, they'll still walk over to the desk and then these people will go, no, there's a queue, go to the, go to the queue, and then they'll walk back over here, right? If you have the entrance here, they'll come over here and they'll go, oh, there's the queue entrance, and they'll go straight in rather than bother the people at the desk, um, which is kind of a good thing. Right, uh, what, what is this complaining about? Uh, oh, metal detectors we need, yes. I've forgotten that. Right, let's put in, uh, well, we're running this at five times speed. Let's, let's slow down. Have we done the research yet? Yes, we've done it. We can take out back loans. Hooray. Maximum loan, 100,000. Right, so we've got an extra 100,000 to spend, which means I can just do whatever the hell I want now, which is great. Right, I need to assign these to this queue. So assign that to that, and assign that to that, and assign you, and assign you. Boom. Did I get that one? Yeah, I did. Yeah, three, four. Close. Cool. So that's all done. Metal detectors. So zones. I want to extend this slightly. So security is going to extend out to there. And then we want metal detectors. Metal detectors. Metal detectors will be under M, won't it? M, metal detector. Right, now these need to be pointing in the right direction. I just hope I get this right. So there's... Can you see there's like a little kind of rounded bit off the corner there? That needs to be facing this way. These really need arrows to tell you. It's just like prison architects, like so many things that you put in. They needed arrows to tell you which way to put it. Um, I think we're going to have these placed like one there. Uh, how am I going to space these out? And one there, one there, one there one there there's no reason to kind of cramp it all together now what i could do to try and make the place look a little bit nicer is to get um get a few decorative bushes put in here maybe so let's uh am i going to put them that way to act like a bit of a barrier not that i need a barrier they'll work this will work absolutely fine but it's kind of uh, you know i might i might do that let's have a little bit of a a bit of a barrier there and there. And how much are the information screens? F, F flight info, they're a thousand. Okay, well, let's uh, let's start borrowing some cash. So increase loan, daily interest, two and a half thousand. Ouch. All right, let's put a, uh, uh, let's put an information display in, I don't know, there. Okay, right. We've got, okay, we've got the basic airport functioning. Now we need to get some flights coming in. Now this is our airline interest. This is, um, this is how interested passengers are in using our airport. And it's affected by how happy they are when, when people use it. And depending on how high this number is, you get access to different airlines. Restart off with these. Um, we are going to kick off by getting some 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 of these flights flying from our airport. So we're being offered by, who is this, a Ford Air. We're being offered um, three flights. There's an afternoon, a night, and a morning. And they're using 767s and a 707. 707's 180 passengers, 767 is 250. So I'm gonna accept. Now when we accept this, we'll get, um, we'll get some cash. And there isn't a, there isn't, for some reason, a tooltip when you mouse over this. If you put it over that one, it tells you. We'll get um, a signing bonus of 5,600. These new flights will be added to your flight schedule immediately. Flights from the arrival time at least two hours away will begin service immediately. So, now it's 4.45. If I accept that morning flight and that afternoon flight, um, there's another morning flight here. Oh, those are Beechcraft. Oh, damn it. Well, we'll take this afternoon slot, accept that. Now, you know what? We've actually been a bit unlucky with, uh, with what flight slots are available. Oh, man, that's a shame. Okay, well, never mind. Now we need to go to our schedule, and we need to say when these flights are going to happen. Now, it's 4.45. If we want this flight to happen today, then it needs to be um, as kind of as late as possible. So, 
And why don't we have it around 8 a.m.? That would work. And then, let's see, this requires afternoon, which is in this area. Um, that can happen, like, straight away. And then this one uh, is another afternoon, so we'll do it there. Okay, fine. So we've got three flights today. Right, let's go. Um, let's run it on two times speed. Uh, okay, they're putting in the decorative stuff. That's nice. Now, the other thing that we want... <clears throat> Um, let's slide down because I want to get the cash for this. Uh, the next thing we want is uh, for people to be spending money when they come here. So uh, let's get let's get some benches put in. This um, I'll, I'll talk more about why you want benches kind of later. So I think we'll start with our benches like there, there, there. Flip, flip, there, there. <clears throat> okay, that's plenty of places for people to sit. Now people get tired. They need to rest, <clears throat> uh, so we need to put benches around the place so that they can sit and they can cater to that need. They also get hungry and thirsty and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, right, so what I'm thinking is to have some like vending machines around the place. So let's get some, let's get some vending machines around the place. We want drinks machines. So let's flip this around. Let's have a drinks machine there. Then we'll have uh, a food and maybe an electronics. Yeah, so let's have a food vending machine goes in there. Electronics. Uh, oh, that way. Right, so we've got three vending machines there. We'll put more vending machines. Let's put in, let's put in a drinks machine there. Rotate. Drinks machine there. Food vending there. Flip, flip, there. Cool. We'll put in a flight info display. Oh, I think we'll put one in there and one in there. I kind of wish I'd put that there now. Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to, yeah, okay, cancel that. I don't get the money back for it. That's the only damn thing. Right, uh, what else do I want? I want some more decorative bushes. Let's put a decorative bush uh, there and there. Oh, now, just occur it's just occurred to me. I'm going to get rid of that, and I'm going to get rid of that toilet. Because one thing that we do need to think about is litter. So we're going to put in some garbage bins. G for garbage. Where's garbage? Here we go, garbage bins. So I'm going to put a garbage bin there, and a garbage bin there. And when they take those out, which hopefully they'll do fairly soon... Uh, now let's see, what time is it? Seven o'clock. We haven't got any passengers turning up yet. Oh, you know why? Because I still forgot to do it. I told you I've forgotten it every game. Uh, we need to assign a, a baggage car. There we go. Now I think, oh no, I've got to do the conveyor belts. I haven't done the blooming conveyor belts yet. My God. I'm all over the shop. Conveyor belts. Ha. So I did the first bit and then I forgot I got distracted. So um, that needs to come down here and then go across here and link up to those. So the, they'll drop off their bags. Those go to there and then they get taken by the little car to the airport, uh, to the aircraft and that's loaded up. And then when they unload, the stuff gets brought over here by the little car. And then we'll have this going across here uh, to the fence. Do I want to go to the fence or do I want to go one more? Nah, to the fence is fine. So, and then from there, down to here. And then we'll have that go across there and then into there. And then we can take it further along and bring it into the extra baggage claps. Okay, good. Right, now we can crank it up. Now, as soon as they've built this, then we should start getting passengers. What I could do... Now, you know what? I won't do it yet. What I could do is I could borrow the other the other 50,000 uh, and get it. Well, shall I just do it? Shall I just do it? Yeah, go on. I'll borrow the other. I'll, I'll start researching it because it'll take a while. So research, research, pricing. And then I can get all the other stuff done. Yeah, beautiful. That's, that works for me. They've still got to get all the conveyor belt stuff done before we'll get any passengers. I, uh, I, seriously, every game I do it, I forget to put that damn blooming car in. And then I'm sitting here wondering, why haven't I got passengers arriving yet? And it's because 
I haven't got my blooming car. But this time I forgot the conveyor belts as well. Because <laughs> I was talking to you. I start gabbing. You know, you know what it's like. You know what I'm like. Um, let's put in. Let's put in some more benches. So I wanted to put some benches over here, didn't I? So let's say there. Flip. And now I want to leave room. I want to leave a gap of three, ideally. One, two, three. One, two, three. Like that. And then we can do the same. Flip, flip. Put that in there. That in there. Good. How are we doing? Have we got the... They're still, I can hear them still digging, so they still haven't finished the conveyor belts. How are we doing with the conveyor belts? We're almost done. We're almost done. There's just this bit and this bit. Oh, no. I've got to do this bit down. What happened to that bit? Let's try that again. What happened to that? Yeah. Oh, no. Ha. I can't touch this conveyor belt here. So I'm going to have to actually come down to there. And then go across there. Down there. Oh, that's annoying. But never mind. It'll still work. Uh, come on. Don't put that in. Thank you. Finally. Then it will work. My God, about blooming time too. Well, now, why have I left these gaps in here? Well, it's because I want to put like, various bits of stuff in. So uh, let's get objects and b -b 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 drinks machine. Let's have a drinks machine. There. There. Um, bum, 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 bum. Now I'm going to do it. Yeah, we'll have a drinks machine there. Flip this around. Flip, flip. Drinks machine. Drinks machine, drinks machine, and a drinks machine there, and one, two, three, let's put a drinks machine there as well. All right, and then I want uh, food vending, and well, since I've got it this way round, let's have a food vending machine there, and there, and there. They're a little bit expensive though, that's the only thing. Um, you know what, I'm going to leave it at that because I'm going to run out of cash otherwise and I don't really, really don't want to do that and there's other stuff that I want to put in. Uh, I want to put in a flight info display. Um, let's put one there and I definitely want one down this end. So we'll put one in there. Um... Uh, I do want more around the place, and I want more decoration around the place, and I want more vending machines around the place, but we're going to have to live with that for now, I think. Right, have we, have we got the last bits of the conveyor belt in yet? That's queues, utilities, conveyor belt. Oh, here we go. These are the last bits, and look, they're, they're like, all they need is a screwdriver. Give them a screwdriver, they'll build you anything. Nuclear power plant? Yeah, no problem, mate. Give me a screwdriver. And boom, that's it. It's done. Now, that means, hopefully, now where are we up to? Uh, seven o'clock. Now, we don't have any flights until the next day. Right, we're into the next day. Now, let's have a look at our schedule. Well, we could move this one forward if we wanted to. Um, yeah, we could, we could move this to like 6 a.m. There we go. So we've changed that flight to 6am now. So our first flight, hopefully passengers are going to start turning up for that relatively soon. And then we'll be able to start seeing what our passenger satisfaction is. Do they like our airport setup? God, I hope so. Come on, come on, come on, crank it up. Passengers will start, start turning up a few hours before the flight. So pretty much any time. I mean, it's 6am now, it's Four o'clock. We're going to start getting people turning. Come on. Oh, here we go. That was a passenger bus. Didn't drop off any passengers. You didn't drop off any passengers. Oh, here we go. Our first passenger. Here we go. She's off on her holidays, I think. She looks like she's off on a holiday, doesn't she? Right. Uh, let's, let's run this on normal speed then. So, she comes in. And she's going to go... Oh, now, pause. Because if I mouse over it, you can see um, the stats. 
Uh, rest, hunger, life cycle departure. I, to be honest, I've absolutely no idea what that really means. Uh, environment, information, bladder, cleanliness, boredom, and frustration. These are all things that you want to keep as close to zero as possible. Now, she's got some hunger. Her hit hunger is at, at 0.285. So it's like a third full of hunger. So she's now going to go over here and buy some food. And then hopefully, she'll probably go and have a sit down. Oh, she's got, now she hasn't got uh, any, any, um, any, she's just she's got carry on baggage. She hasn't got like a big bag. So now she's going to sit down and have a rest. And look, see her rest going away. And now she's saying, yeah, well, yeah, I should probably, um, should probably get on with it. She's already got a ticket. Now, if there isn't a queue, like if these desks aren't occupied and there isn't a queue, they'll just go straight to the desk. And then she goes over to the bag scanner, sends her bag through, picks up a bag. Goes through a metal detector. Excellent. Now you'll notice that these are not being manned at the moment. And I personally, I think it's not meant to be like that. But it does work without you having staff there. But I think, I don't like that. So I will be hiring staff when I've got a bit of money. And then she's going to wait for her flight. Now let's have a look at our, uh, let's have a look at our reports. So how are we doing for um, info? Um, we've got information here. We've got information here information over here we could do with a bit more um, there's plenty of information in here when they first arrive so that's good so yeah we could probably do with I don't know maybe some information um, displays over here or something just to kind of fill that area in and uh, I'll probably put one over there and one over here and then we should have like fairly good coverage I might put one over on this side as well yeah I might do that we'll see We'll see. So we've, we've got pretty good coverage from that perspective. Uh, our environment. Oh, oh, I tell you what I didn't do. Uh, I can sell that. I can sell that. I need to put some more bins in. Oh, garbage bins. Garbage bins. Quick, before they start throwing their garbage all over the floor. Uh, there and there. Cha-ching. This, this is all working pretty nicely. Now, there's not many people here yet. So... These people are ignoring the queues and just going straight to the desk because there's not a problem. But as more and more people arrive, oh, and you can see lots of people showing up now. And, oh, now they've, now because people are here, they're going, ah, I better use the queue. Right, we need some more staff. Let's get, um, we need somebody to work there and we need somebody to man this desk over here. Here we go. Now, once this person is here, we'll start to get people using this and getting ready for boarding. Now, when's the, when's the first plane? The first plane is at 6 a.m. It's now 7. What the hell? What happened to that? I have no idea why that plane didn't arrive. Okay, well, I guess the next flight's going to be the noon flight. Let's have a look. Um, oh, no, this is... This is still set for 8 till 10. You know what? I'm going to move it back to 8 till 10 then. I, I guess it must work for like the next day. I guess. Right. So look. Um, so this is going to arrive at, at 8 o'clock. It's 7.24. Should we speed things on just a little bit? Let's get it up to almost. No, a bit more. Oh, here we go. Oh, and it's arrived. It's just flown in and landed. Bang on time. And you'll see it says starts in 83 minutes. Now, what that means is that's boarding. So boarding will start in, in 80 minutes, 79 minutes. And there are already, of the 80 passengers who are supposed to get onto this plane, 40 of them are already standing in line, which means they're already in the queue waiting to board. That is really good. That's what you want to see. You want to see as many people in this queue ready to board as, uh, like, as early as possible. And the Skyway swings around, or whatever the hell it's called. I, I, I've got to look up and see what, exactly what that's called. Um, it's a walkway of some. Now, now, does our pathing work? So these people come out of here. Now they've been on a plane, which apparently doesn't have any toilets because loads of them have got full bladders. So they'll go to the restrooms. Uh, but the rest of them are going straight out of the exit, straight down to baggage claim. Oh, now, oh, oh, oh. 
let me show you this. Utilities, conveyor belt. We go up here. Oh, here we go. The baggage car will have just picked up the, the baggage from the airplane. It goes across here. This is a really strong bloke because he carries every single bag from an airplane full of like 180 people. And he'll drop them onto here. And then they start going onto the conveyor belt. And then they whiz along our conveyor belt system. And they will end up on our baggage carousel down here. So when they're almost there, I'll get out of that view. And look, there they come. Pop it out onto the carousel. And then people go and get their bags. And there you go. That is how it works. Now, have we finished the research? Pricing. Oh, we've got it. Now, <laughs> what we can do now is we can change. You can't change this until you've done that research. Now we can increase how much we charge. So currently we're only charging $10 per passenger that comes through the airport. And we're only charging 400 for um, an airline to land a plane, which is a bit blooming cheap. So I think we're gonna bump this up to like a thousand to use the runways. And we'll bump this up to like, uh, I'm thinking maybe $25 a person. Yeah, $25 a person. Yeah, save new prices. Boom. Right. Now we will get to find out if we are making a profit or not. And it's going to be interesting. So flight ops income, 47500 Staff expenses, 6600 Total, we make a profit of 40900 a day, according to that. But I do actually want some more staff around the place. So I'm really thinking we could do with another janitor to help out with the dirty floors. We've only got one janitor. She's very overworked. So I think we'll get another janitor going because we want our place to be nice. This is the passenger satisfaction. We'll, we'll look at that uh, right, right after this. So let's bang uh, a janitor in. There you go. Okay, so passenger satisfaction. This tells you for all the different things, boredom, cleanliness, information, bladder, rest, frustration, environment, and hunger, um, how happy people are. And people, it seems, really like our airport. Let's crank it up a little bit and get through to the next flight. Oh, oh, that, oh, 80 people boarded, 80 of 80. So that flight worked well. And you're going to zip off and you're going to take off, which is going to give us some more cash. Hooray! Yes, an extra thousand for runway usage. Awesome. So, um, yeah, so we're going to be getting uh, cash from the, uh, the, the, the people coming through the airport. We're going to be getting cash from the planes taking off. And we're going to be getting cash from our vending machines. And the more cash we get, the more cash we can spend on stuff. Uh, now, our airline interest is currently at 44.22. Now that has dropped because I bumped the prices up. Now let's have a look at uh, who's interested. It hasn't affected any of the people that we've already got flights with. Now Pacific Airlines, they operate this Beechcraft. It's only 19 passengers though. So I'm kind of tempted to say forget it. But, but there again, 19 passengers is 19 passengers. So maybe we should just go for it. Shall I, shall I bring them in? Well, we've got room for the flight. The problem is, if I bring them in, we've got an acceptance bonus of um, 2,600. But the termination fee, if I decide that I want some, uh, like something better, then I've got to pay 5,200 to get rid of them. So I'm kind of tempted to just say no. Passenger satisfaction is really good. We, uh, we are making money. Now I could bang in some like some more vending machines and stuff, but right now, I, you know, right now, oh, uh, oops, slide down. What's going on here? Uh, 88 of 92 have boarded this 767. We got the last passenger coming in now. Oh, and the last one. There we go. 92 people have boarded, and off it goes. Now this was due to leave when? Let's have a look. Uh, schedule. This would be the uh, schedule to leave at 2. It's actually leaving at 2.30. So, 
it's slightly late. Now, what that affects is um, how close together you can have your flight scheduled. Because let's say we'd got a flight that was scheduled at, <clears throat> at, at two o'clock. Um, they would have had to cancel because they, they wouldn't have been able, the, the gate wouldn't have been free at two o'clock. So you want a gap of probably, I mean, I would say at least 45 minutes between each flight and probably to be on the safe side, you probably want an hour gap <clears throat> unless you've got like a massively efficient setup. But even then, well, the passengers are streaming in. We can crank it up again. Ticketing seems to be working very, very smoothly. No issues. People are using the ticketing kiosks. Yeah, no issues. People are using the vending machines. We need more vending machines. Because there's, there's queues for the food vending machines. <clears throat> Let's get some more vending machines put in then. Do, 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 do. Vending machines. Oh, I tell you, oh, I put in one ATM. <clears throat> I didn't put an ATM in over here yet. And we really, oh, let's put an ATM over here so people can get money and spend. So let's flip you around like that. And we'll put that in there. So an ATM. What else do we want? Food vending machines. More food vending machines. Food vending machines. So I wanted a food vending machine there. And I wanted one there. And flip, flip. I wanted one there. Yeah, we've got two there, we've got there. If I flip that around, that way. Um, just thinking, you know what, I could put, I could sneak one in there, we could get another drinks vending machine. Flip, flip. Uh, which way around is that? Yeah, that way. We could get a drinks vending machine in there. Or I could put it there. So I put it there. You know what? I'm going to put that one there and I'm going to get an electronics machine there. That's the right way around, isn't it? Yeah, boom. Let's get an electronics vending machine there. We can put... Flip, flip. We could put an electronics vending machine in there. Or at least I could if I had any money. But I've got no money left. <laughs> oh, the next planes are out. What do we got? We are... 14 minutes left. We've got 15 people to board. Come on, you last few slackers, get on the plane. There's 10 standing in the line, eight. It's just these last people to get in here. Come on, come on. But you can see we're over time. And yeah, we're like eight, nine minutes late getting that flight away. But it's gonna go over here, it's gonna take off. That's gonna give us an extra thousand. Come on, come on, give me money. There we go, so there's a thousand. Alrighty, now. Yeah, we are gonna have to like generally start improving our services now, but we have got a very, very nice, slick operation going here. I've gotta say, I, for a first episode, I'm really pleased with that. The whole thing just is working really soon. Let's get next through to the next day, because I kinda wanna see the next day. Um, we just really unlucky with with the damn. Uh, hang on, shall I take that Beechcraft? I'm kind of thinking that I might as well because it's the only thing that's available. The only other thing that I can do is save up cash uh, and get the lights on the runway, and so that I can start having night flights, which um, I'm guessing really is what I'm going to have to do. Uh, the, the lights cost like 25,000, so we should make that in one day. But if you want to see that, guess what? Yes, you'll see that in the next episode. Like, look at this. We're actually, according to this, we're down 5,400. Because um, I guess that is not taking into consideration, like the bank loan interest. I don't think that's taking into consideration the loan interest. But... But yeah, no, we should be making uh, a profit overall. God, I certainly hope so. Now we are. We, we're, we're definitely going to make a profit. Um, but if you want to see for certain that we're making a profit, you'll have to come back for episode two. I hope you've enjoyed this. 
And I hope you can see the scale of what you can do with this because I'm already thinking, right, I want multiple gates, I want another runway over here for more flight arrivals, I want, like, I, I don't know, maybe we have some small gates for the small planes and then large gates for the bigger planes. And right now we're only getting small planes. We were really unlucky with the flights that we got offered. Um, we haven't got any big planes, and there are some big planes. We're, we're talking 747s, uh, Airbus 380s, carrying like 500 passengers. And trying to get 500 passengers through here um, is easier said than done. It presents you with a whole set of new challenges. This is all working really, really smoothly. It's working really, really nicely. But, yeah. It's not always going to be like that. So yeah, I want multiple multiple gates. I like. I'd love to see like four gates along here, four gates along here, maybe extra runway, all that kind of stuff. And um, and there's still some stuff that we haven't put in yet. So come back for the next episode. I will catch you for that. Is there anything else that I want to say? I really don't think there is. I'm just loving watching this. I'll catch you for the next one, guys. Peace out.